Today we have another pregnancy update. This is going to be my 28 week slash 29 week update since I'm a little bit late to my 28 week update. We're almost at 29 weeks. I'm at 28 weeks, five days today that I am filming this. So I figured we'd go ahead and just combine the two. I'm going to do a bump update for you guys, a pregnancy update for you guys. I had an appointment last week. I did my glucose test. Um, stuff like that so I figured I would go ahead and give you an update on that and then I also have a few packages to open so yeah that's what we have in store for today's video my baby shower is this weekend and I'm so excited I say my baby shower but I don't know I feel like it's our baby shower like my husband and I's baby shower well really it's the baby's baby shower <laughs> um, but our baby shower is this weekend which I'm so excited about I can't wait to see all of our friends and family that were able to make it it's citrus themed and um our moms have you know they've been getting some cute decorations together and i just can't wait to see what it all looks like so um yeah if you're new don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started so First, we're going to do the bump update. Also, my sheets are currently being washed, so I just have this blanket laying over our bed in case Pancho comes in here, just to kind of protect the mattress and pillows a little bit from Pancho hair. <laughs> we try our best. Um, so, yeah, man, getting up is a it, it's a task. So let me let me get up really quick. Here is my 28 and a half week bump update. Every week, I feel like I'm just feeling bigger and bigger. I remember for a while, it felt like my like bump updates all looked the same, but now when I do this, I feel like I feel like I can actually um, see a difference. So here is what I'm looking like at about 28, 29 weeks. I have on these Lululemon leggings, so they don't come up as high as my maternity leggings. Um, but they're, they still fit. They do still fit. They're still comfortable. These are the aligned leggings with the pockets on the sides. So yeah, there's the bump update. I've pretty much been living in maternity leggings and t-shirts, um, but I did pick up a few things from Target. So I thought I would do a little Target haul as well. I also ordered some biker shorts, which I don't know how that's gonna go, but I ordered some biker shorts and then like a maternity kind of top from Amazon, which those don't get here until tomorrow. So won't be able to show you that in today's video, but I can show you the couple things that I got from Target. So we went to Target the other day um, just to kind of look around. Oh, I got this cup back here, the Starbucks cup, it's pink. Um, it's so beautiful and I got it for like $7 <laughs> because they had 70% off of a lot of the like tumblers, like the summer Starbucks Target tumblers. So definitely go check your local Target Starbucks and see if they have any on sale. They had like a green one. Um, they actually had a couple green ones. They had this one. Um, I think there was more of like a rainbow, like multicolored one. Um, so yeah, super, super good deal. I don't really buy Starbucks cups too often just because they're pretty expensive, but I couldn't say no to the pink one, especially because it was like $7. So yeah, I don't know if I can link that. If I can, I will. Um, but I just found mine in store. So there's this girl that I follow on TikTok. Her name is Katie. I don't remember her last name or her username, um, but she recently had her first baby and her baby's name is Naomi. Maybe that helps you know who I'm talking about. Um, she, before she gave birth, she's like, has kind of like a a little like like a bit where she's like super negative all the time and it's really funny um i i don't know i really like her personality she's awesome so before she gave birth she was like you know it was like complaining about like how long it was taking for her to go into labor um and then now she has like she does like day in the life with a toddler or not a toddler a newborn <laughs> so she's super cool um but i saw her wearing this set from target and i thought it was really cute and i was like well um i'll try it out so this was from the like pajama section it's the stars above brand um it's just this like short sleeve top that is a button down um she wore this before she gave birth and then also postpartum so it's just like a nice lightweight kind of gauze material and it's this really pretty brown color i got it in an xxl just so that 
Um, it'll continue to fit me, hopefully, when my belly just continues to get even bigger. I can't believe I'm not even, like, 30 weeks. Like, I keep thinking I'm, like, 30-something weeks in my head for some reason. I'm, like, skipping um, a few weeks. I'm just, like, jumping ahead. I think it's because I'm in my third trimester now, so I'm, like, automatically, like, my brain is going to 30 something weeks but anyway <laughs> I got this it's super cute um nice and lightweight and it fits and it's really comfy and then um I have these shorts as well they didn't have the matching like this color shorts but they did have white sorry the lighting is like kind of weird there we go that's a little better um they had the uh, gauze matching shorts in white so again picked those up so it still looks really cute together it's just a nice little pajama set that's also kind of like loungewear um I think she wore it to let like out and about I don't know that I will but definitely a little bit more put together than some of my other like things that I wear to bed <laughs> so got that and then I also got this dress which is actually from the maternity section it's the brand Ingrid and Isabel and this I also got in a 2x this was $30 um, but it was 30% off they had like a 30% off of women's clothing it didn't count for the pajamas for whatever reason but the shorts were $14.99 and the top was $16.99 and then this was $30 but I got 30% off so it was like $20 basically 21 or whatever <laughs> but it was this really cute pink color this is kind of like it's not linen but it's kind of like a linen ish material it's short sleeves um, it has sort of like a v-ish neck with some buttons here and then this like cinch that's not like tight on me at all again it's kind of on the looser side because I wanted this to fit me for the next few months because even though it's going to be fall I live in Florida and it's still going to be super hot so um just a cute little sundress um it has pockets which I also loved and um I tried everything on and I thought it all looked cute so that was my little target haul for my uh, like update little chit chat um things are still going pretty good I had my 28 week appointment so now I'm at um, an appointment every two weeks instead of every four weeks so my next appointment will be next Wednesday when I'm 30 weeks um, but at my 28 week appointment we got there um, my blood pressure was good which is great um, I did my glucose my second glucose test the first one I did like an early one at 12 weeks it was just like an early screening test um, just like the regular one hour glucose test which I passed which was great um, but they still had me do a second one at like the regular scheduled time which is like around 28 weeks so I did that the first time I had the fruit punch drink it wasn't that bad at all it was honestly fine it just tasted like a like a fruit punch that was supposed to be carbonated but it was like flat um and then this time I did the lemon lime which is like the clear one definitely didn't taste as good um but it still wasn't bad at all so if you're like scared or nervous about it don't be <laughs> I definitely felt like a little bit of like a that like sugary rush like kind of uncomfortable feeling because it's a lot of sugar to consume in a short amount of time um, but it I didn't feel bad or anything I, I don't know people really scared me based on their experiences but just know not every experience with the glucose test is poor so it wasn't bad at all and again I passed this time I think my blood sugar had to be less than or 134 or less um, after one hour and it was 95 so all good there um so that was exciting my I also had like routine blood work done and um I actually had to get like re-stuck for the second time or for the first time so the first uh like blood draw that they attempted she missed my vein which was totally fine I totally understand she was new but <laughs> I um I just like felt like I, I could tell it was gonna happen just based on like I don't know she just didn't seem super confident which again totally fine 
everyone starts somewhere. I missed my first IV that I did on somebody when I was in nursing school, so I, it wasn't a big deal at all, but it was just kind of funny. I just knew it was gonna happen, and then she, like, nervously, she, like, stuck me, and I'm just, she's kind of, like, fishing for a second, and then she goes, um, like, Brenda, or whatever. I don't even know what the other lady's name was, but she's, like, sounds so nervous and scared, and I was like, oh my gosh, poor girl. She probably feels so bad. Um, so she had to have someone else come and re-stick me, which she went ahead and did my hand because it was, like, kind of time-sensitive because you, it's, like, after an hour you get your blood drawn, so I had to get my second stick in my hand, which is still kind of bruised. That one hurt so bad. I, you know, needles don't really bother me that much, but wow, did that one hurt. Um, but again, everything was pretty normal. Everything, my blood work and everything looked normal, so that's all good. Um, he, my doctor, I, I see a different doctor every time. Sometimes it's a man, sometimes it's a woman. Um, I've seen like six or seven different doctors at this point, but he measured me this time with a tape measure, which was the first time that someone's done that. Um, and he said I was measuring 29 weeks, which I'm 28 weeks, so I know that's not super accurate, but he said everything looked good, everything was on track. Um, no 10 pound baby so far is what he said to me. Um, I have a growth ultrasound, I think is what he said, scheduled for 32 weeks. Um, so we'll just see. I think you check for like placenta, um, position and I have an anterior placenta. So it's on like the front of my belly, which makes it a lot harder to feel and see kicks. But all of the kicks that I feel are super low. So I don't know if that's her hands or her feet. I don't know if she's upside down, like feet first right now. Um, but I guess we'll figure all that out at the next ultrasound. I haven't had an ultrasound in several weeks, so it feels weird, like, not seeing her every single time anymore. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything was good. He said he didn't have any concerns. He said, you know, A plus for me, for baby. Her heart rate was good. Um, everything was good <laughs> so that's my little 28 week update so again I'll go into the doctor again on the my 30 week appointment <laughs> and then 32 weeks so I don't know what happens next appointment I think it's just like a regular like OB checkup I think I don't remember if there's anything else but 32 weeks is the like my next ultrasound so yeah, that's pretty much it. Things are going good so far. Um, I We've been walking Poncho a lot, and once we get, like, I don't know, towards the end of our walk, I start getting, like, pain, um, which I asked about, and he said that it was round ligament pain, which is fun. I guess he said it was most likely round ligament pain, um, because he was like, is it, like, in this area? And he kind of, it's, like, my lower abdominal area. And I was like, yep. And he was like, well, there's no really, like, screening test for it, um, but that's, like, what it sounds like. It can be brought on by, like, movement, exercise, things like that. He said it can be excruciating for some people. For me, it's not bad. It's more of, like, a tight, like, you know, slightly painful, kind of like cramp feeling, um, but not bad at all. Nothing, I, you know, I can't complain if that's my only complaint, <laughs> you know. So anyway, um, everything else is going good, so I'm excited. Um, we figured out the hospital that we're giving, or that I'm giving birth at. We thought it was a different one, <laughs> but, um, it's actually a different location, which is fine. Um, it's actually like a little bit closer to our house. So we figured that out um, at 28 weeks. <laughs> um, so that was interesting. And then um, I guess how it works is like whoever is on call when you go into labor or when you're scheduled induction or C-section, I don't know, like I don't have, we're not that far yet. Um, when whoever's on call, I guess is, who you get. So, um, so far we've had a really good experience with the doctors at my OB, so I would be perfectly fine with any of them. <laughs> but like I said, I've literally seen like seven or eight different doctors at this point, so. And I'm seeing another one, like a new one, which 
is actually my original doctor like before I was pregnant but I haven't seen her yet during pregnancy so I see her next appointment um so anyway that's pretty much it that's my little chit chatty update my uh, next update like I said will be 30 weeks so I'm gonna skip my 29 week update I'll do a 30 week update I'm gonna do like a baby shower um haul type thing um which again I'm excited about I'm gonna try to get some clips of like the decorations and stuff but I'm not gonna like do a dedicated vlog or anything like that just gonna spend time with some friends and family and celebrate the soon arrival of our baby girl so anyway let's move on to some package opening so um a couple of these are amazon packages from our baby registry and then a couple are from some friends so first up let me find the note in here this first package is from victoria it says congratulations so excited for you guys i just had my first baby girl in april and it is the best journey well congratulations to you i'm so excited to be a first time mom to a baby girl i'm just i'm so excited so thank you so much both of the notes say the same thing and in here we have some staples which makes me so freaking excited i cannot wait to organize everything and do the nursery we're waiting until after the baby shower to like really start on like building the crib and furniture and you know dresser and all that kind of thing so like i said that's this weekend so after this weekend we're gonna really get things going with the nursery and i'm so excited but first we have some wipes i am so happy to have these <laughs> we're starting a little stockpile of diapers and wipes which is fantastic um i know that we're gonna go through a lot of them everyone keeps telling me so we have some water wipes thank you so much victoria and then we also have some diapers these are size three huggies diapers again i these are like some of the best gifts when it's things that you know you know that you're gonna use so thank you so much that is so very kind of you we really really appreciate it there are a bunch of papers in this next one um this is from darlene it says congratulations and prayers for a safe delivery and healthy baby girl from darlene thank you so much i think these all say the same thing along with like the little gift receipts so <laughs> thank you so much let's see what we got okay first up we have this from frida baby this is the uh, meta frida acidose passy so you can actually administer like liquid medicine to babies with this so it's like a syringe with a little pacifier on the end i saw this and i was like this is genius i've never heard of such a thing um but yeah i thought that was super awesome so so happy to see that i added that to our registry same with these these are um like tethers they're silicone tethers that it's a pack of four of them and here's what they look like so you can attach these to say like the handle of your like a sippy cup or a little toy or something and then you attach the other end to your high chair or car seat or stroller or whatever so when your kid throws something it doesn't land on the floor it's tethered relatively close so um i thought i saw these and saw actually a tiktok about these and how they were recommended so i added those to the registry these are colors are so beautiful so thank you so much darlene for these as well i'm so freaking excited to organize everything you guys don't even know i mean maybe you do but like i feel like i'm full on feeling the like nesting craving for like the last like two weeks that's all that i want to do is just like organize everything go through everything get everything ready <laughs> even things that like don't affect the baby whatsoever <laughs> we like went through our entire attic the other day um <laughs> we also have the frida baby uh quick read thermometer this one is you can use as like um multiple ways it's like a rectal thermometer but also i think you can use it no i don't know if you can use it other ways <laughs> 
Anyway, I know this is like the most uh, accurate way to read an infant's temperature, so not fun, but definitely necessary, so thank you. And then we also have these Hip Hop Panda Baby Washcloths. These are super soft. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for bath time. It's going to be so fun. And then there was one more thing in here which we actually didn't register for. So this is just like a fun little surprise that Darlene added in here. And this is one of those books. And it, it's um, like a high contrast book. And it's, oh, it's sensory too. So this is um, sensory play, sassy developmental toys. It has a little ring on here. Um, but I know babies can really only see like high contrast in the beginning. So it's just like a little cloth book that has like noise in it. Um, and you know, fun little high contrast pictures, which is so cute cow, ladybug, all kinds of fun little things. And again, that like crinkly sound, it's, it sounds so good. <laughs> so thank you so much for all of the gifts, Darlene and Victoria. And then I got a package from Emily G. And I actually already opened this one. She sent us um, a package from Etsy and her note was really funny where is it oh it says i don't know anything about babies but i do know that little girl is gonna have the best parents congrats on baby girl from emily g <laughs> i literally like cried <laughs> when i read that note <laughs> and she sent the cutest things she did so good look what she picked out so these are from an etsy shop called bibs by Vi viv bibs by viv i'll have it linked down below these are the cutest like bibs and burp cloths i am obsessed so first up we have this one it's a gorgeous strawberry pattern it's pink with strawberries it has a little cut out here so it's kind of like a terry cloth on one side and then it's a nice like soft material on this side it feels nice and absorbent but also so freaking cute i love the pattern it's also nice and big too which is fantastic so that's the first one then there's this super cute watermelon one again it's the same like little cutout type situation which i love i love the detail as well her little branding so we have those two and then these are cute little sets these are absolutely adorable our nursery is like sky like cloud sun moon star rainbow kind of themed and these like kind of go with that <laughs> which i thought was really cute so this one um it again has the baby burp cloth but this one has rainbows and suns and little rain clouds on it and then it came with a matching little bib which has a little snap closure and there's different like snap lengths so you can make it looser or tighter but isn't that so adorable? I love that. The pattern is so freaking cute. And then this last one here has suns all over it with little faces. So again, we have the cloth here and the matching little like bandana bib which is so freaking cute i love it so much so thank you so much emily for the super sweet package my cheeks are hurting from smiling so much and then this last package is from hillary she mailed this to our house and um <laughs> she like wrote like no peeking on it congrats uh, baby girl xoxo all kinds of cute stuff so it says open at the top she told me to be careful opening it at the top so don't like shove my scissors in there <laughs> so i'm gonna be very very careful opening this what is in here i have no idea what this could be she said there was like a little something for me i think as well as our baby girl oh no my camera battery is gonna die i guess i'm just gonna keep going until it dies and then i'll <laughs> i'll go change it okay let's see oh my goodness it looks like there's a lot of stuff in here okay so we have some of the little oh oh this is so 
cute i was gonna say we have some little hangers look at how cute first of all the hanger is but look at this little like rattle toy it's a bunny oh my god that is adorable wow i'm already i'm already loving it and there's a lot in here oh my goodness okay next is this oh this is so cute it's a peter rabbit set what is okay there's i think a little book a little bunny oh my god wait this is so cute look at that i actually don't think i've ever read peter rabbit i know it's like a classic maybe i'm sure my parents read it to me when i was little but this is so cute and there's like a little teether toy in there as well thank you so much hillary okay next we have oh these are so cute these little knitted headbands. Let me open this up. Oh, these are so freaking cute. There's this beige one and then a red one. It's gonna be perfect for the holidays. It's crazy that we're gonna have a baby for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, I cannot wait to take some cute little pictures of her in these. Oh, they're so soft and so cute. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Hillary, you did so good. Okay, next we have, I love this mustard color. This little set here, there's like these little socks, little like sock shoe type things with little bows on them. They're cream and mustard. And then it has a matching like mustard yellow headband. Mm, this is so cute. I literally am gonna take so many pictures of our daughter. I am so excited. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, I don't even know what to reach for next. Oh, cute. I actually saw something like this in a TikTok, but this is even cuter. These are uh, like baby toothbrushes and they're from Colgate. They're little uh, butterflies. I saw like a banana one, which was kind of cute, but these are even cuter. Thank you so much, Hillary. These are adorable. I love it. I have no idea about anything when it comes to baby dental hygiene, so I'm gonna have to do some learning on that. Next we have, ah, oh, this is so cute. Oh my God, look at this little onesie. It has fruit all over. It has watermelons, peaches, lemons, cherries. I cannot wait to show all this stuff to Jarvis. And it also has like optional Footy, footed bottoms so you can have them like open just like regular a regular onesie or you can pop this flap down and make it like cover their feet which is so cute i love this thank you oh my gosh i'm saying thank you so much this is literally so cool you got so much stuff hillary this next one is this is adorable this is so so freaking cute I'm obsessed with this mushroom uh, mushroom anything I love this is adorable this is so me very my style this is gonna look so cute in our kitchen I think this is a kitchen towel I think it's so cute I love it very fall vibes I cannot wait to decorate for fall I was like thinking like am I gonna regret decorating for like fall and Halloween when I'm gonna have a kid in like potentially late October early November <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be worth it to to do it. I'm gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be worth it. Next we have this pack of muslin burp cloths. Oh, these are so freaking cute. Oh, I think there's two of the oh, these are like really big. And they also have that same little like indent here. So, but these ones are a different material. These are just like a super thin muslin one. So this first one has this really cute pattern. It's like kind of like a taupey gray and pink color palette with flowers all over it and then this one is white with little baby pink flowers that is so freaking cute thank you hillary oh my gosh oh this is wrapped in paper what is oh this is oh my goodness no freaking way these are salt and pepper shakers <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're mushrooms. These are gonna look so cute in our kitchen with the, are you kidding me? Oh my God, Hillary, these are so 
These are so cute. I literally, I'm so excited to show all this stuff to Jarvis. <laughs> He's gonna love it. <laughs> we have, oh, this is so cute. This little outfit. This is kind of like a, a gauzy material. Look at the little dress. It's pink. And My camera battery died. But I was showing you this super cute outfit. It's again like a really nice lightweight gauzy material. And it's pink with white flowers and little kind of like orange slash just darker pink <laughs> centers. But it comes with this little top and then the little bottoms. Oh, they have ruffles on the butt. That is so freaking cute i love it so much oh this is so cute there's a silicone teether it's like little bunny ears man hillary you did so like so good like i feel like you like really paid attention to like i don't know this was just very very thoughtful this is so cute i love the pink i love the little stars on it and then it's little bunny ears that is so adorable and there's more <laughs> naturally this cute this is so adorable this is a nice little onesie it's like a little short sleeve pink onesie i love this color pink this is so cute i'm like oh i know i know everyone thinks that their kid is cute and like i just want to know what i like i'm sure i know she's gonna be so cute i just want to know what she's gonna look like you know <laughs> <laughs> okay then we have a couple more things in here before this like really big thing we have oh this is so cute this is a little um it's like a little comb set like a little baby comb set there's a bunch of different colors it has like little nubs on the bristles i guess to like make it softer for their skin i'm guessing that is so cute there's pink and green and blue and yellow i love the pastel colors then we have this pot holder are you kidding me i am about to redecorate our whole entire kitchen this is so cute thank you so much hillary this is adorable okay i think that this last oh no no there's there's more there's another another thing in here and then i think there's just the one last big thing so this is oh this is so cute i love thank you for getting like a bunch of different sizes i'm close to this is so cute i love the ribbed material it's like this really pretty light pink color it has the ruffles and the bow and then the pants also have the ruffles on the butt there and it comes with these two super cute little bows this is so precious this is nine to twelve months oh my goodness it's crazy that like i'm gonna i'm gonna have a human that's gonna fit in this <laughs> it's just so freaking cool <sighs> thank you so much hillary oh my gosh okay then we have this last thing which what is this <gasps> oh are you hillary <laughs> this is the most amazing thing i have ever seen oh my gosh i don't okay i don't even know what to say this is gonna literally be so perfect for her nursery it's the perfect colors it's right on theme i am so obsessed with this so this is one of those play mats that you put on the ground this is huge i've seen these um like circle play mats at like tj maxx and marshall's but this one is on another level oh my goodness look at the color palette first of all and i can't even like show this but it's a freaking rainbow like i don't know if you can see i'm gonna be kind of hiding behind here but it is a rainbow the colors are perfect oh my god it's so soft i cannot wait we have this little thing that you like stand up and it has little dangly like things on it for like your baby to look up at when they're laying down and this is going to be perfect for that hillary this was literally perfect thank you so much i am shook i am so shook right now plus the little 
gorilla and the gorilla toy for poncho and just oh my gosh i'm so overwhelmed wow hillary you did such a good job thank you so much for the incredible baby gifts i appreciate it so 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 much i know jarvis is going to love it as well and so is our sweet baby girl <laughs> so thank you so much hillary thank you emily g thank you darlene and victoria as well wow oh my gosh i cannot wait to do a little haul for jarvis that's what i'm gonna go do now <laughs> Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'm so excited for the baby shower. I'm so excited for my 30 week update. <sighs> wow. Things are like, it's still, it's like things are going so fast, but they're also like going so slow. It's such a weird, like parallel contradictory feeling. Um, but yeah, I'm so so thankful that we have so many people that love our baby girl so much and she's been kicking a lot like crazy and i've been feeling her so much i was actually like able to see her kicking and jarvis can feel her now like uh, originally it was like really hard he like didn't feel her for the longest time and i'm like you don't feel that but now anytime i'm like see if you feel this and then he always feel he can always tell now so super cool oh here's like what the little rainbow looks like on the ground like the picture of it that's so freaking cute thank you so much <laughs> thank you hillary <laughs> all right well that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe um, I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.